Hello all my YouTube subscribers, friends, fans, and family, all of my Facebook subscribers, friends, family, and fans. Okay, as you can see, it's very cold this morning. <laughs> well, at least for Florida anyway, but anyway, this is video number three for self-esteem journaling part three. So, in the last two videos, I spoke about, you know, journaling, self-esteem journaling being good for you, writing in general being good for you. Um, and it's a self-esteem builder when you write about yourself because you're trying to build up your self-esteem. Um, no matter how low or high it already may be, whatever the case, you're just trying to build your self-esteem up and get it to its highest level. That's your main focus. Some things that I've been um, hearing <laughs> over the years, um, let me first say you should not strive to be like anyone else, like period. The only things that you should actually want that other people have, you know, great job, great car, great home. Let me think. And uh, that's it. Anything else that a person has, you should not strive for it. Um, you know, I mean, like, great education, yeah. But if it's anything of... Uh, Anything physical beyond a car, a home, a great job, a great education, you should not be striving for that. You, mm -mm. you should be striving for your own things. You should have your own things that you're looking forward to, your own goals that you're trying to reach, not someone else's goals. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be inspired by other people, but you shouldn't want everything that another person has, period. You just shouldn't. <laughs> The things that I named, those are the things that you should want that mostly everyone has. So if you're striving for more than that, other than what I named, if you're striving for more than that and trying to be like someone else, stop. Because you don't know how they got it. <laughs> um, and you don't know what they're dealing with to keep it. Just saying. So. Please keep that in mind if you're trying to be exactly like someone else. Be unique, be yourself. Um, that's one of the, that's the main thing that you need to remember when you're self-esteem journaling. You are not like anyone else in the world. You are unique, period. You're unique. You're your own person. There is no one else in the world like you, period. That's what you should be focused on the entire time you're doing your self-esteem journaling. And the reason I say that is because if you get hung up on, I'm just like this person, you'll, you'll start, unconsciously you'll be doing it. You'll be getting away from you. And you already do that pretty much all day long. So why would you continue to do that and you're writing about your self-esteem? Why would you write about being like someone else, you know? You shouldn't do that. Um, another thing I want to say, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to try to keep it five minutes or less. Um, another thing I want to say, when you get your, your journal to write in, make sure that you like your journal, you know. I'm sorry, I had to reach for my journal. But make sure that you like your journal. Make sure that you like writing in it. Make sure that you love writing in it every day, eventually, if you're not a big writer. I am, so, you know, I love writing in it every day. But get you something that looks pretty like this. I don't know. Well, I do know why I got it. I liked all the pretty colors on there. But get you something pretty like this. I got my little bookmark in there. And so this... This journal here, I love writing in it every day, and I love the design. So 
get you a journal where you can love the design and love writing in it every day. Like, every day you love to open that book. So I've gone over time, so check out the next video so you can find more so you can find out more about self-esteem journaling. All right guys, I hope you like this video and have a great day.